What is up YouTube? I'm Ian 18 In this video, I'm going to be showing off our SBRT bot, Blitzinator. <laughs> So this is, I'm going to have a world download in the description, this is the world that you get. You get the bot, it's all pre-set up, you get a bunch of weapons off to the side, some walls to test it on, and this nice logo in the background. And here I have my teammate who helps me build this. Um, go subscribe to his channel. I keep saying this and nobody actually does. So here, the link Any is clout. Right, right in the description, go subscribe to his channel. Okay, so here is how you pilot the bot. at the if you go all the way down to the bottom, there is this long thing. These are the engines. You can click the note block on any of these, and it will move forward with a lot of lag. So basically, these these are redundant engines. So if one of them blows up, they all the rest of them still function. All of the ones to the right of it will be disconnected, but you can easily just like build a quick segment to reconnect them. And the lag. There it goes. Because this entire front wall moves at once, so it is very laggy when it moves and once everything is done moving you can start um, shooting stuff so first I'll start first we'll start with um, first we'll start with the three cannons so to do these you place um, 50 TNT minecarts you can use your ent or actually you can place more than 50 but in our tournament the rule was you could only place up to 50 so you place a bunch of TNT minecarts on this block, and usually you'll be standing here, and then you can pillar up with T with three TNT, and you play you place three TNT like that, and then you can click once, and then twice, and it uh it shoots. Sometimes some of them do break things, but you can just place them back. So yeah, that's how you fire the three cannons. These are good for destroying. These are good for destroying easy, like, small, like, breaking stuff that's in front. Because CNR bot, we have a lot of stuff in front of the netherite wall. So, you sometimes you need to break that if you want to break the netherite. And then once, you, once you've broken through, you can go in here, and you can break this redstone block, and it'll fire this missile, which will go and break netherite. And say it hits a netherite wall, it'll blow up, and it will make a small hole in the netherite. And then once you have that, what you can do is you can come back, you can go back inside the bot. And here we have, which one did I fire? I fired this one. So here we have a 50 shot cannon. Here Nova, why don't you uh, place the TNT, I'll place the minecarts. So you place a bunch of TNT minecarts here, same as, same as the other one. But instead of just placing three TNT here, you have to place a ton of TNT here. Because what that does is this flying machine comes across and ignites all of the TNT. So then, it, and then it all drops down here, and then when the minecarts blow up, it launches them out through this hole. So once that's all loaded up, you can come around, you can come around to here, and you can click this note block, and it will fire the cannon. Boy, here we go. Here we go. Oh! There it goes, and it shoots, and blows up whatever is over there. Usually, it, you would want to be firing it through a hole in the netherite that you created with the missile. This cannon does break this one terracotta block here, but you can just place it back. There are 20 of these cannons throughout the whole bot, and they're all color-coded to match the corresponding three cannon that goes behind them. That way you can know which three cannon you fired and which 50 cannon it goes along with. There are a few duplicate colors, like on this side, there are orange, there are white, orange, and black, and on this side, there are also white, orange, and, uh, no, it's just white and orange, so there are duplicates, I think. And then, um, so yeah, those are all color-coded, and then if we come up here, there is a gas cannon. To operate this, you hit this note block, and it just comes up. Make sure you don't move when it's up. Only move, you can retract it back down by clicking this, and here Nova's going to show you how to operate it. Basically what you need to do is you need to move to the left 
or basically when it fires a gas, you step to the side opposite of where you want to hit it, and then you punch it to the direction. You have to step to the side so that the fireball doesn't hit you. Here, try to hit me. Try to hit me. Ah! What was that? You're in like creative mode. I don't know. It literally does no damage. If you're if you're not careful, you can get hit with it, which can be bad. So just try to avoid uh, that. It's I'm easier. Moving. I'm trying to hit you. It's easier. I'm trying to if, murder you. It's easier if here. I'll go in survival. It's easier if you have to do it if you have sound on because you can hear when it shoots, so you know when to step to the side. But I guess you could if you like need to play with sound. Off. <laughs> if you need to play with sound off. Oh no. <laughs> if you need to play with sound off um you can just like turn around and watch the gas so you can see when it shoots but it's easier if you play with sound so that is how you operate the gas cannon that is useful for taking out incoming missiles or taking out enemy gas cannons or other like exposed tnt and stuff on their players bot. players as well dumb players who just um, aren't standing in their ball for some reason and if 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 the gas cannon is very important because it is the only way we can you can stop incoming enemy missiles so if someone tries to shoot at the gas cannon either body block the fireball or jump down here and hit the note block to send it back down so then if we move back here we have ah. the tnt dupers these are really cool because they're programmable make sure the gas is down when you fire these otherwise it might get killed by the inner ones um so what you do is you can, to fire one just at the default height, you can click this note block, and it will launch up into the sky. And the, the top part will launch up into the sky, carrying the actual TNT duper. And then down here, a piston feed tape will start cycling with this observer. And once it goes around twice, when it goes around the first time, this observer gets pulled back, and when it goes around the second time, that happens. And this Whee! second flying machine launches. Now this one is slightly faster than the other one. This is a concept that has been used by many other people. It was originally came up with by Cube Hamster. He made a bomber that goes a certain number of blocks forward and then drops TNT. This, it goes a certain number of blocks upward and then launches forward. So it, it takes a bit, but once this catches up, it will launch a TNT duper that flies over and bombs the enemy bot. It takes a bit, but it because this redstone block has to catch up to this piston to stop the flying machine, and then this slime block and observer complete the other flying machine up here and launch it forward. So once this catches up, this will happen. It launches e forward, and I guess you could ride it. You don't have to, but I guess you could do that if you wanted to. It d it blows up the one beneath it and sometimes destroys the one on either side of it, but that's intended. It it's the part of and the armor above it drops away when you move for breaks away when you move forward that's all intended this is how you give new players ptsd and so it just flies over <laughs> and it does sometimes oh and he's dead so yeah it flies over it does occasionally blow itself up upon deploying but that is very rare it doesn't Wait, oh, oh, ah! so yeah this just flies over the enemy and blows them up that is and let me show you how to adjust it because you can you can make it go lower if you want to. You can um you can go so go to one of them and uh, if you take the observer, see you have an observer here. If you um make this be at a different spot, like because it cycles around um clockwise. If you're looking at it from this side, if you're looking at it from this side, it goes counterclockwise. So if you just put it further counterclockwise, like say here, it will go much lower because it is less time before it waits less it waits like less long before launching the second one so if i go and click this it'll fire the top one and this feed tape will start going around and it'll immediately pull this back where it had to wait a bit longer before and then pretty soon it'll launch this second flying machine right now and it goes up and Then it keeps going, and eventually, again... Why are you summoning bees? It's one bee! <laughs> and then, once it catches up, um, it will launch, like before, except this time, it is not going to go as high. Because the other one went all the way up here. This one 
is only going up to here because we adjusted the feed tape. So like before, it'll start dropping t uh, I think it broke. Yeah, the because on my screen it didn't break. Wait, what? It's still dropping. Wait, the TNT, the TNT's gone. Yeah, that's what I meant. Only because I put so many bees in it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that does happen occasionally. No. It does occasionally break, but that's just a demonstration of hey, how, look can, no! <laughs> how you can launch it lower. Um, there is e. there is one more weapon left. It's um. This, it's, these are very similar to the other cannons. They shoot 20 TNT instead of 50, so you just, again, place TNT minecarts in here. And then once you have a bunch, you take your TNT, and this time you only place it one wide. Um, this, this one I made first, and then I upgraded it into the other one. So you just place this, and then when you're ready to fire, this time the note block is over here. And you don't have to, these ones don't have anything in front of them. Um, they're just a straight shot out of the bot. They're just meant to clear any anti-missile defenses or other things like that. And then you just so you just press this, and like the other one, it fires. And so yeah, those are all the weapons that. And you can move again after firing. The top of the armor at the back is gonna break away if you fire the dupers. Um, cause yeah, that's just what happens. So when this when these top when this top roof moves o moves forward. You'll see it'll get left behind. Lag. Real lag, that's when the whole front wall moved forward. So all this starts moving forward. And only a little bit of the back wall is breaking off this time. That's unusual. It usually like breaks a lot of it. But this time, it actually mostly survived. Only this one little Did it part. fire the other dupers? Yeah, no, but usually when you only fire one, it, like, destroys the... Oh, and over here, a lot of it broke, even though the duper didn't even work. Oh, because I guess it dropped down one TNT, and you might want to stop the feed tapes so it doesn't lag. You can just do that by... You, sometimes the feed tape will be destroyed, so you don't even have to do that. But in the case that it didn't, you have to. you should press the note block again. Um, so yeah, that is all of the weapons of the completed bot. And then over here, we have some individual weapons. So this is the netherite breaking missile. It is very cool. You just, you update this piston and it'll start moving forward. And how it works is there are these sticky pistons at the front. And when they hit the wall, they will start grabbing, they'll start grabbing the blocks like this. Hey, Nader. Hey, Nader, I have a, I have a pet. <laughs> And then once, this, doof. once the TNT like, blows uh, no! up, <laughs> <laughs> once the TNT blows up, it leaves this nice two by three hole in the netherite wall. This is useful just, if the enemy has netherite armor. I'm just gonna stay in this hole now. And then over here we have some of our TNT. We have some of our TNT cannons. This is you can you can if you want to add this. These these are here in case you want to add them to your own bots. We have. Did you set the weather to clear? Was mood for this one? Was mood. You just push it by this back slime block, and it'll hold. The whole thing will move. And so what you can do is you can place TNT minecarts on this block. And like yeah, it's, I show like I showed you before. You just place the TNT minecarts here. Place TNT here, and then what you do is you click this note block, and then you you have to click it twice. And the amount of time between the two clicks is how long the TNT will go before it explodes. So if you want so if you want it to hit the wall and explode immediately or if you're shooting at a, sh a a nearby target, you can click it two times really fast. Although sometimes that makes it not work. You you can't do it too fast. Otherwise it you just Even put the TNT in. I no, I broke it. Um you can't do it too fast otherwise it doesn't work at all. So you need to, yeah, you need to place in the TNT. I'll put in less since we're not shooting at a far target. So you have to do it not too fast because the observer needs time to update in both positions. And boom. Shoots pretty far. It, it, you can like make it, sh it shoot super straight. So it can shoot through a one block hole like on the bot. And uh, you can fire it as many times as you want. You can add some a bit more delay if you want to, like that. 
Now the TNT waits longer before it explodes. That's good if you're shooting at a far away target. So, and then this one, you just put your minecarts here, you place TNT here, and you can fire it from this note block. And this is useful, this one is useful for like, if you want to put it on a smaller creation or you want to have a lot of them, um, you can use this because it's pretty compact. And um, this one is better for bigger creations where you want more firepower. And as you can see, it did a lot more damage because it shot 20 pieces of TNT. And now this one is for really big That's creations chunky. where you want maximum firepower. You just uh, press the note block. This one increasingly does more damage. Yeah. Every time you shoot. Yeah, it's like it, at the beginning it might seem like it doesn't do that much. Actually, it did quite a bit. But the more you fire it, the more damage it does. So I'm just going to load and fire it again. I'm not going to put in too many TNT minecarts because you don't really need to. Oh, and you do need to place this one terracotta back because it does destroy itself. We tried to get around that, but we could not. And this one, it has a slight bit of directionality. You can it. This version only works um, when moving east and north. No, it's um, east and south. And if you do a slight fix, it works going north and west, but it only works going north and west. I'll show that in a minute. So... Um, let's fire this again to show you that it does more damage the second time, and just as you keep firing it, it just does more and more damage. Oh, and that time it destroyed itself. Does do that occasionally on slow servers, but in, in the battles, it didn't actually do- Actually, wait, we never actually got a chance to use it in any of the battles. <laughs> but it doesn't usually destroy itself on, like, a faster server or on a single-player world. It's usually when- we're on a slow Eternal server right now, so it's a bit laggy. And the directionality the fix, is kind of crap. Yeah, the directionality fix is to move. So it was like this before. You just move the piston to down here, and you add another one here, and that way it'll work properly. And then, and to move it, to move it, you just push it um by this block over here. It's destroyed now, but um you just push from these two slime blocks, and you can uh, build out a little bit if you want. You can like extend the slime down here. That's what we did on the bot. We pulled it from here. Um. And then, for to move this one, you push it by this big segment on the back. There's a lot of spots you can push it from. It's this big, wide segment, and it just moves the whole thing. And then, finally, over here, we have the duper weapon. This thing is really cool. It's not as good as some of the ones that the other bots had, but it's still very cool. For ones that have three wide. Yeah. But you can you can move it from here. You move it from, you push it from that block, and it moves the entire thing forward. It takes a bit to move because there's some complex circuitry down here. And so, I'm just gonna briefly explain how this works. Um, when you click this note block, it um, activates this observer, which um, fires this, which activates this piston, which fires this upwards flying machine, carrying a TNT duper that is disassembled into two parts. We have one part over here and another part over here. And then down here we have a faster flying machine but it doesn't get activated yet. What happens is this observer also, um, it also powers, um, oh yeah, there's also, an, this note block powers this observer, which powers this observer, and it just, it's this big observer chain, which updates this, which powers this trapdoor, which powers this observer, and the observer powers this block, which powers these two pistons. And so that's just a big, long, movable wire. Those are really useful. Um, it just, yeah, it's just this big, movable wire. And it pulls this redstone block. And what that does is it starts this feed tape. This is a feed tape design made by Cube Hamster. I made some slight adjustments to make it smaller and fit in better. But it, for the most part, it's Cube Hamster's design. It's a very good design. It, uh, you, it pulls this back. And this starts... And it activates this clock, which starts cycling the blocks around, including this observer. And this observer moves around. And then as it gets past this... As it passes this solid block, it powers the sticky piston. And the first time it does that, it pulls this observer back to here. And then the second time it does that, it pushes the observer back to here, and it activates, which powers this piston and causes the flying machine to launch upward and catch up with the other one that's launched. And again, to adjust it, you just move this observer and you replace it with a regular block, and you move it somewhere up here, and the further over here... If you really want it to not go very high, you could put it, like, very low, like, down here. 
Or if you really, really wanted it to go super duper low, you could um make it. You can move this observer to start here, so it only needs to cycle around once, and then put the observer wherever you want accordingly. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make it go super low. So we're gonna launch it, and you launch it just by pressing this observer. It's easy enough. And it just uh this part moves up by itself, and then eventually this part moves up by itself. And we did a very small delay here. I don't know what Nova's doing. <laughs> and so this time it's not going to go very high. It's going to catch up very quickly. Oh, it's going to get bombed. <laughs> oh, it's the... What do you mean? <laughs> wait, wait, move it back. Wait, no, no, move no. it back. No, keep it. No, keep it. Keep oh, it. move it back. No, I'm moving it. it back. Keep it. I'm moving it back. I'm... Oh, whoa, oh. No, I... No, 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 oh, gosh. Uh, you sort of saved it. I was moving out of the way because I realized this is so close to the other, like, cannon. If this, if, if the other cannon fired, it would break that, but now I realize that 50 cannon can't even fire. This just drops TNT down, and it will just, it'll land down here and blow stuff up. And this this grave has been disgraced. <laughs> and so yeah, you can you it, like this. You can use it to fly over the enemy and bomb them. Um, very useful for that. And it's just it's just very like easy to use and easy to adjust. And yeah, that's how that works. Um, so yeah, these are all of that's all of the weapons. The ga there is the gas cannon, but the gas cannon is very specific to this. So I didn't I didn't separate it from the bot. It's you can make something similar if you want, but it's it's very this particular design is very specific to this bot and this armor and stuff. And this is also very easy to use. You just this note block here just moves it up and down. We just have a flying machine and it gets stopped by this piston. This is a really cool thing. This piston does two things at once. It acts or actually it does it does three things at once. It stops this flying machine from going up. It stops this section from when you send it down, it um it blocks this fence post so the section can't be pulled down anymore, so it doesn't get pulled down here. And it also it also pushes this segment forward. So when you move forward, this redstone here, I'll I'll move it so you can see. You just I'll just uh activate it so you can see. Um when I come back up to this thing, you'll see that this piston depowers, moves closer to this, and then powers again. takes a bit but uh oh you weren't really able to see it because of lag that's okay but you get the idea it just it gets pushed forward by that piston and so yeah this world download when you load it up you'll just spawn right here overlooking this beautiful logo and then you can come down you can use the bot you can copy some of this stuff and i will include individual schematics for um all of the weapons and for the bot I'll, uh, they'll be saved with Lightmatica, so they'll be Lightmatic files. So you just you can load those in with the Lightmatica file and build them in survival, or paste them in your creative world, or on a server or something. Just do whatever you want, and you can include any of these weapons in your own bot. And so yeah, that's Splitsinator. Okay, so future Enator here. Um, I recorded the video yesterday, and I edited most of it today, and I realized that I actually forgot to show you guys how to how to set up the schematic after pasting it in. So I'm going to do that, so you just load it. I'm not going to show you how to use Lightmatica, because that's there are plenty of tutorials on that. I'm just, oh wait, wrong, schematic. I'm just going to show you how to set up the bot after pasting in the schematic. So I'm just going to grab the schematic real quick. It's here I have so many Lightmatic files. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab my Lightmatica tool and paste. Um, here we go. We have the bot. I'm gonna remove this. So you're gonna want to have World Edit for this. You want to uh, you're gonna want to go over to two of the corners. This one has to the ones with gold blocks. You click one of them. You left click one of them, and you go to the other one. And you right click the other one, 
and then you do replace. This is really important. This the order of doing this is really important. You have to do slash slash replace furnace air. You need to do furnace first, and then slash slash replace blast furnace air. Because if you don't, this hole gets messed up because there are some furnaces here and they cause it to update and it's it's a whole thing. So just make sure you replace furnaces with air first and then blast furnaces. And then you just, you grab some regular minecarts and, uh, and you place them here. And then, um, what you, and then the tricky part is getting the guest in here so what you want to do is you want to just like get a block it doesn't matter just any block there get a rail minecart gas spawn egg and this can be a bit tricky takes a few tries i just have my hero brine sword here so i can kill it if i mess up so i spawn the gas and you kind of just shove it into the minecart and then it, it's okay if you don't get it first try it's a bit tricky and you grab your fishing rod you break this block and you break this block and the gas will fall down. And then you want to grab the minecart. Make sure you grab the minecart and not the gas. And then you pull with the fishing rod. And if it doesn't go all the way, you'll do it. You'll know it's in the right place when it fully sinks into the spot. Like that. So now it is now it is on the spot and you can send it up and down with this note block. So that's the trickiest part of the setup. But once you get it done, you only have to do it once. And the bot's all set up. And then what you want to do is if you're so with the tournament um you were allowed to have 800 starting entities so this is eight already and then we just used all of the other ones to pre-place a bunch of tnt minecarts into the cannons we were going to use right away um but otherwise if you're not doing that you're done with the setup you can just use the bot as detailed in the rest in the beginning of this video you can just use it so yeah that is that is how you set up the bot and i hope you enjoyed the video i know i haven't uploaded in a while but hopefully i'll be uploading more consistently now so i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye <laughs>